Hi everybody, we would like to give you a quick demonstration of two of our very popular pulse oximeters. One is MD326 and the other is MD300C3A. They are both fingertip pulse oximeters from a company called ChoiceMet, which incidentally is the world's largest manufacturer of pulse oximeters. The typical product will come like this in a small box. As you can see, it can easily fit into the palm. Once you open it, what you will find inside is the operator's manual, the pulse oximeter, the battery and a small chain or uh, thing to hold this thing to prevent it from accidentally falling off and to make your fetal, uh, the pulse oximeter secure. Now this pulse oximeter works with two batteries which can be put on the back side like this you can take just these two pulse uh, two batteries these are triple a batteries and once you put it in all you gotta do is close the pulse oximeter and that's it you're ready to use it to use it you have to press uh, put your finger inside completely right till the end and then you can press the button and you're good to go. You can start seeing the reading from here. Within a few seconds, it will start giving you the pulse rate as well as the uh, SPO2 levels. You don't really have to turn your finger like this or hand like this to read the readings. You can simply press this button over here and it will start moving the display and will suit your uh, particular level wherever you're doing and you can see either you or your caregiver can easily see it just by pressing these buttons that's about it if you want to turn it off you can just turn off this device by pressing the on off button for about a uh, few seconds and that should be good to go or you can take it out and it will easily read the finger out and it will close after some time it automatically closes off the key thing over here is that it does not have any audio alarm or audio function whereas if you see its sibling which is the MD300 uh, C3A this has got audio alarm features let me open one for you you're opening it again this comes with your operator's manual two batteries chain to hold the pulse oximeter securely and of course the pulse oximeter you can again the op the battery cover is on the back side you can just uh, turn it you can push it to open the battery cover once you've opened it you can put the batteries in so now let it take out from our previous pulse oximeter and you can easily put the initial you got the readings over here as to how you have to place it can't really go wrong with these things close it and that's it again the simple thing is that you use this groove to push your finger all the way in press the button and the system will start functioning almost immediately and you'll be able to get the reading as well as the pulse waveform again you can press it about to once and you can get the audio alarm so it gives you the pulse rate it also gives you alarm if your spo2 levels fall off suddenly below 94 or if your pulse rate is very high or very low and if you press it it gives you readings in multiple directions to make it very very convenient to read no matter which finger you put it on that's about it you can just see that it gives you audio alarm. so the key difference between this model and the MD300 uh, C26 is that the MD300 C3A has got audio alarm features. That's about it. To close it, you can just take off your fingers. It will immediately say, or almost immediately say that the finger is out. And after that, it will automatically shut off. That's about it. If you're... Thank you so much.